what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Before I go in, I want to stop, tip my hat, and salute each and every one of you for doing your part to help this channel grow. People are talking about the channel all over the country. It's people checking out this channel who would surprise some of y'all. I mean, it surprised me. When I get out there, man, people, man, I check out YouTube. I mean, people of all ages, all ethnicities, uh, all, uh, I mean, just all backgrounds, people are checking the channel out. They're watching it at work. They're watching it at school. People tell me they watch it at home. They're checking it out. So. Thank y'all, man. If you haven't done so, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner. Go ahead and click that right now so that you can get an alert each time I drop a video like this. That way you'll be in the know before the crowd. Also, Monday at 1 p.m. Central, I will be interviewing the incomparable Crystal Sanya. She is with the new Black Panther Party. And we're going to be talking about these lynchings going on in Mississippi. If you don't know, you need to look it up. I mean, you'll see case after case after case. I mean, they, it's like they're stuck in the 60s. Ain't nothing changed. We're going to be talking about that, and we're going to try to bring some much-needed exposure to uh, some of those cases. In fact, we're going to try to bring some exposure to all of the cases, but there are a couple of cases that stands out big time, and we're going to start with those, all right? So let's get into it. We got three teenagers who were arrested in Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee, after allegedly raping a teenage girl and broadcasting it to Facebook Live. Martin Milan, 19, Anton Hester, 18, and Rayford Smith, 19, were all charged with aggravated rape and especially aggravated exploitation of a minor after the 17-year-old girl reported the attack on Wednesday. The girl had invited Milan to her house to have sex, but when he asked if he could bring his brother, she declined. When he showed up, he had his brother with him and also the two other guys. The girl took Mylon into the room, into another room, and the two boys initially stayed in the living room. Well, I guess there was too much going on and it was too much like right for them to just stay put. They went into the room and allegedly forced themselves on the girl and recorded it. According to police, Mylon later arrived at the girl's house with Smith and Hester in tow. The girl reiterated, I'm not interested in them, I only want you. She asked them to stay in one room while her and Mylon went into another room to have sex. Several minutes later, the other two boys walked into the room and raped her, according to the police. Now, this guy Smith is being charged with recording the incident and posting it to Facebook. The police found the video on his cell phone. The girl, after the rape, hid in her grandmother's bathroom and called the police. The suspects are due to be in court on Friday, with Mylon bond being $100,000 and Smith and Hester's set at $50,000. Good job, folks. Another one bites the dust. Man, how many times we got to see it? How many times have we seen this movie? Okay, youngsters, let me speak to y'all for a minute. 
Y'all can't say nothing to some of these motherfuckers. You just, just say something to them. Say, man, what the hell are you doing? That's stupid. Because they're not listening, apparently, to their elders. They're not listening at all. So maybe they'll listen to y'all. And I do subscribe to that. I do subscribe to peers putting pressure on peers, using that peer pressure in a positive way to influence their friends because it's on y'all because y'all are the ones they're trying to impress. They're not trying to impress me. They're trying to impress you. So where in the hell are the leaders when all these kids are doing stupid stuff? It's like the dude, I mean, there's so many cases, but I just, it, it, this just popped up in my head. The dude who picked up the old white lady, the black guy who picked up the old white lady and threw her in the pool. First of all, he slipped and fell. That was another, that was a warning right there. That was enough. He slipped and fell with her. Then he got back up and picked her up again and threw her in the pool. Nobody had the presence of mind to say, hey, man, what the hell are you doing? Come on, man. I know even when I was 16, 15, 14, 17, 18, I would have still intervened because my mind is wired like that. I'm not that stupid. I've done some stupid things. But that's one of those things that's so stupid, it would never compute to me. It would never even enter my brain. It's like thinking like a sucker, you know, to me. It's like, it's certain things I see suckers doing, I can't even fathom. I can't even think on that kind of level. You know, like being messy, like some dudes are messy and they gossip and they say certain things and they plot. And they, they do little tricky stuff, you know, funny bunny stuff. I can't fix my mind to even think like that. And I know it's youngsters out there because I see them, but it's just not enough. I hear them, but it's just not enough people that are being vocal. You see something, say something. Somebody had to tell them dudes, man, this shit ain't worth it. Now they, just, now they, now they got to register as sex offenders for the rest of their lives. They just severely limited their options in life. All for what? A temporary feeling. Because that's all it is. It's just sex after you have it. You know, oftentimes you want some more the next five minutes. Once you have that sex, that's over. You got to concentrate on the next hit. Just threw it all away, man. That's crazy. It's one thing to commit a crime, but to post your crime online? I was about to say, where they do that at? In America. I don't even see other kids in other countries doing it at this rate. I've seen some stupid stuff from other kids in other countries. But American kids are the worst. I'm telling you, by far, American kids are the worst. Posting this crazy stuff online, committing crimes, first of all. Committing the crime. Then posting the crime online. The idea, I thought, for a crime besides trying to come up or get vengeance was to get away. Even if I was having sex and it wasn't a crime, I would not want the world looking at my naked body. Even if it only was shown to women. If she ain't getting it, she don't need to see it. That's why I can't see why dudes are so comfortable with their drawers showing and the crack of their ass out. So if I feel that way about women seeing me naked, I damn sure don't want to see no dudes seeing me naked. These fools... 
commit the crime and post it online. Oh well, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah.